Liver cirrhosis is extremely common in our country. We diagnose close to a million cases every year. I'm Dr. M.S. Paul, the Director of Gastroenterology and Liver Diseases from Max Hospital, Shalimar Bagh. And I'll be talking to you about the normal liver as well as liver cirrhosis. The liver is located in the right upper part of our abdomen. It is the largest organ in our body and weighs 1.5 grams. Whatever we eat or drink ultimately is digested in our intestinal system and reaches the liver through all the blood vessels which join to form the portal vein. Once all this material reaches the liver, it is metabolized, it is conjugated, it is made safe for consumption by our body. The liver also has very important manufacturing processes. It makes a number of proteins and substances of which four are of key importance. One is albumin. Albumin is present in our blood vessels. It makes our blood thick and prevents it from leaking out of our vessels. Number two are the clotting factors. These are of utmost importance because if we get minor injuries or wound, the blood clots immediately and prevents us from leading to death. The third are the immune functions. The liver has a capacity to produce obstinins and complement and these are the substances which prevent minor infections from flaring up into major infections. And lastly, the liver produces bile. Bile is excreted into the intestine, helps in digesting of food and fat material and if this would not happen, the bile would go back into our blood and we would get severe jaundice. Now, this is the what a normal liver does. Now, what is cirrhosis? Cirrhosis is an irreversible stage of liver damage. It does not develop overnight. Cirrhosis takes 10 to 20 years to develop. Once cirrhosis develops, the symptoms may be none in the earlier stages and the symptoms may be severe in the later stages when the body reaches the end stage cirrhosis. From the functions of the liver, which I told you, it is very important to understand or to figure out what the symptoms can be. For example, if albumin is not produced by the liver, all the fluid would leak out and we'll have swelling of our body, swelling of our abdomen. If the clotting factors are not produced, we'll have severe bleeding from every side. And in fact, in cirrhosis, there may be massive blood loss from intestine. If the immune functions are not taken care of, we would have severe life-threatening infections leading on from minor injuries. And finally, we would have yellow-colored eyes, we would have yellow-colored urine, and the entire body would turn yellow. So what are the causes of cirrhosis? There are three important causes which account for almost 80% of cases of cirrhosis. The first cause is alcohol. When taken in large quantities, when consumed regularly or in binge drinking, and when consumed over a period of years. And you will also understand at this point that if we were to prevent a person from consuming too much of alcohol, or even uh, if we can convince a person of stopping alcohol altogether, this alcohol would not be able to damage our liver. The second is infection, hepatitis B, hepatitis C. These are very common in the world and millions of cases of hepatitis B and C happen every day. But there is a very effective vaccine against hepatitis B and three doses of vaccine can prevent cirrhosis because of hepatitis B. As far as hepatitis C is concerned, there is a 100% effective treatment available for hepatitis C, which can get rid of hepatitis C in a period of two to three months. Now the last cause is the most insidious and the most dangerous, and this is a fatty liver. A fatty liver happens when you are overweight, when you are obese, and you are unable to get rid of excess weight. The second important cause of fatty liver is uncontrolled diabetes. And lastly would be a high cholesterol, that is a bad cholesterol, and a high triglyceride values. Now from these causes, you can understand that prevention of 80% of cirrhosis is within our hands, literally. If we stop alcohol, if we treat our hepatitis B, if we treat our hepatitis C, and if we remain at ideal body weight and control our diabetes well, 
वी कैन एज वेल बिड गुड बाय टू सिरोसी वेल लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई हैव बीन आस्ड बाय मेनी ऑफ माय पेशेंट्स ओवर द इयर्स दैट व्हाट आर द सिम्टम्स ऑफ सिरोसिस डॉक्टर वेल लेट मी टेल यू द सिम्टम्स ऑफ सिरोसिस सिंस सिरोसिस टेक्स टेन टू ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ टाइम टू डिवेलप इनिशियली दे मे बी नो सिम्टम्स एट ऑल वाइल आर लिवर इज कम्प्लीटली गॉन subsequently when the damage sets in and the cirrhosis becomes more advanced there may be only non specific symptoms for example there may be fatigue there may be tiredness there may be a loss of appetite a person may lose a little bit of weight at times there may be dramatic symptoms a person may come with a massive upper gi bleed which has never happened before so otherwise at the time of fairly advanced cirrhosis there may be little or no symptoms or only non specific symptoms it is only when the cirrhosis is really advanced reaching end stage that you get deep jaundice you may start bleeding from various sides you may develop swelling of your body or you may even develop drowsiness and fall into coma many a time i have been asked what is the difference in cirrhosis rates between males and females the answer is very simple females are far more vulnerable to alcohol and their safe capacity is only half of that of males so alcohol which is a very important cause of cirrhosis will affect the females far more although the other causes like fatty liver hepatitis b and hepatitis c are the same across both males and females many a time our patients ask us doctor we have reached or our relatives have reached end stage cirrhosis what do we do now well our answer is very clear that this liver is finished we need to do a liver transplant for your survival and in fact we start briefing the patient long before they ask us that you are heading for a liver transplant your liver is no longer going to last so please undergo a liver transplant our patients often ask us doctor will life be absolutely normal after a transplant well the answer is very straight forward you will be alive but your life will not be normal the reasons are very clear you have a foreign liver in your body the liver will try to be rejected by your body unless you are on immunosuppression immunosuppression reduces your immunity makes you prone to lot of infections and your life becomes a very very abnormal life hereafter but you will be alive dear ladies and gentlemen i have explained to you what happens when the liver becomes cirrhotic i have also explained to you the problems and difficulties of transplantation so i would like to end by saying that in the case of liver cirrhosis prevention is certainly better than cure dear friends i hope you found this talk informative in case you have any doubts please comment below thank you very much